Check it out, check it out. So I don't know if you saw the news from NASA, but the gravitational pull oh, right now means shit, that you, you can got it. stand a broom up. Oh, I'm gonna try these shoes. You seen these? Um, yeah, I wanna see them stand up though. Watch so, this. I didn't read the whole thing, but it has something to do with the alignment of the planets and the gravitational pull, basically. What, what are you guys orbit. doing in the kitchen? Bro, chill out, bro. It's a science experiment. This doesn't work. Hey, this is man, fake news. Down. This is a conspiracy theory. You see the broom, dog? It's gonna work. It's a bunch of bullshit, bro, man. Come on, bro. You're talking to your science. You can't make a shoe stand up. Oh, Get out of here. We're trying to Bye, focus. bro. Okay, bye. The, the, the solar system wouldn't lie. See? You see? I told you, motherfucker. You see, right? That's a full size. That's a full size. She, she, she won every color. That's a full size. Hello to every single member of the FS Army watching across the world. Of course, I'm your co host, Brendan Dunn. I'm Matt Welty. James, baby, Trinidad. And we have a special guest with us today. Tay Keith is in the building. Tay Keith, thank you for coming by. Yes, sir. It was good. Fuck these niggas up. <laughs> Tay Keith, uh, super producer, Middle Tennessee State alum. Hey. And the man who likes his sneakers. We're going to talk about all that. First thing we want to discuss is the sneakers everyone's wearing today. Welty, what do you have on? These Adidas ZX 7000s. They're like a super Easter colorway. Did you Easter, wear this shoe on the show pink? before? I have not. I have not. I, I can never keep track. I'm not, uh, it's not Easter yet, but hey. I mean, you see, I'm on my Black Air Force One energy. Um, shout out to Foot Locker in Atlanta. You know what I'm saying? Did like, you steal these sneakers from them? I should have, right? That would have been a better cool. story. Take it. Do you know about the whole like Black Air Force uh, One? Yeah, yeah. How do you feel about that? I like them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. If, if, honestly, I would give me a pair. Take it. What do you, you know have what? on? I might give me a pair, right? Do it. I got on a Balenciaga um, triple S. A little bit of extra height. That's um, a kind of a cheat code, right? Comfortable. Yeah. I'm wearing some Reeboks once again. Uh, you guys know what time it is. Palace Reeboks. We're not gonna go through the Wait, whole thing. Wait, are you getting thing. paid to wear these shoes? No, or? I'm not getting paid to wear the Reeboks. I'm, I'm just, I'm doing it because I like it. I'm not getting Fucking paid. Up. You sure? Yeah. I can't tell. Yeah, 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 yeah. I need to call the FCC on you, bro. Jesus Christ. Let's talk sneaker news. The first shoe we want to talk about here is the new off-white dunk. I saw this Boom. in person uh, at the big Nike preview. I still can't believe this is a dunk. It's called the rubber dunk. I don't know. It looks like Billie Eilish to me. Take Keith, do you like these joints at all? Yeah, I like them. I, I didn't know they were dunks, though. You know what I mean? It, 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 it doesn't look like one at all. No. Do, do you fuck with all the off-white stuff? or is that? Yeah, like I you? mean, Nike-wise, yeah, I can, you know. Cause they hook you up with the sneakers? Or, like, how do you, I got, how do you I got, cop it? I got, I got a little, yeah, <laughs> you got, got plugs? A so you got I the plug? I can't tell you, though. You know what I'm saying? Straight from Nike? Straight from the yeah, source? Yeah, right. What do you mean? I got, I got straight from Nike. Oh, my goodness. How do I get on that list? Man, you got it. Gotta go hard. Stop bro. wearing them goddamn I've been, I've been, I've been going Stop hard. wearing them go hard. I've been going hard. Man. Yeah. You guys like these joints? No, I mean, when the shoe came out, you said you were happy that Virgil was taking the line in a diff completely different design direction. Yes. I quote tweeted you and said, let's be honest, the shoe fucking sucks. That happened. People seem to like my uh, response to it. <laughs> I mean, this shoe is for a person with a special type of drip, a special type of drip, a special type of drip, a special type of drip. Like yourself? Correct. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna drip those. And at the end of the day, when Virgil tell you the reason why he made it, y'all gonna shut the fuck up? I mean, I mean, that is one thing, you know, like, I, I do want to know why it exists. I know, exactly. Are you an information type It looks of like an early 2000s skate shoe, but not in a good way. Like a LeBron 3 or something like that? Yeah. You see? Almost, yeah. I you can see, see the vibe, that. Right? I had <laughs> them. You see the vibe? You had the LeBron 3s? I had them. This looks like a, like, a, like a circus skate shoe. It really looks like the Louis shoe, for sure. We all agree it doesn't look like a dunk, so yeah. I don't know. Speaking of more hype hype sneakers, this weekend at All-Star Weekend in Chicago, we're finally going to get, supposedly, <laughs> yeah, way to go. the Yeezy basketball sneaker, the Yeezy Quantum. Is this really happening? That's what they said. I think Yeezy Mafia confirmed that it's coming out. Steven Smith, who's the design director for Yeezy, mm -hmm. hit me up and said he's gonna be in Chicago this weekend. Nice. So it all it all makes sense. Um, You're a you basketball guy, Tay? You don't get buckets? I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> for your generation, do you like still look up to Kanye like the same way, for, like as far as his sneakers? It just I look like the Virgil. Virgil. Virgil over Kanye? Kanye? Man, y'all gonna put me in a spot like that, man. Yeah. And then Kanye <laughs> calls you up and he's like, yo, he's like, I wanna work with you next week. We man. just got the headline. 
take he slams Kanye West. No, just kidding. We're not gonna do you like that. I'm glad this shoe is finally coming out if it, if it really is happening as well these deep, deep sources say, but it's it's not my favorite and I'm confused as to whether or not it's an actual performance basketball. There might be rumors sneaker. going around that Adidas might be worried about this sneaker because it's not supposedly a real performance basketball sneaker. It's a basketball sneaker. So you what does that mean? What basketball? does that mean? It looks like a basketball sneaker and you can play basketball in it but I'm assuming that they didn't put the same level of like, you know, athletic motion research and all that sort of stuff that goes into like a James Harden sneaker as suck. as goes into this, as far as like performance wise. That, they didn't that, put the same mechanics into it. Yeah. I got you. Because it's more of an aesthetic shoe, you know? Do you fuck with it? Um, to hooping, yeah, definitely. And also I always say that, you know, the picture is the picture, but you know, you always got to see how it feels on court, on foot. Ever since Kanye went to Adidas, you know, it's been kind of like, I haven't been as hyped as the Nike stuff, but you know, we'll see how it goes. All right. When yeah. it comes to sneakers, my brother, what uh, what got you into sneakers for you personally? Like when I was younger? Yes, sir. In, in Memphis, we call it copying. Copy? You know like you cop, like I just oh, cop the okay. J's, okay. you know okay. what I'm saying? Okay, I cop the J's, right? So like everybody used to cop like when they were younger and shit, like. Okay. I'm like, damn, I want them shoes just cause, you know, you see everybody else wearing them and shit. Correct. Like Christmas time. Correct. Or like back to school. Of course. Come back January, everybody got the 11s. They came mm -hmm. out, you know what I'm saying? All right. So they just really was like my start personally into like being like more into shoes. Mm -hmm. School, Elementary. friends, pairs, and stuff yeah, like that yeah. from young. Were people going crazy for the Jordan 11s? Because every time the Jordan 11s come out around around Christmas, you hear all these stories about insane lineups and riots at malls. Was it like that in, in Memphis? In Memphis? Yeah. Nah, I mean, not really. Like everybody used to just go to the factory. Three, right, three, right, 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 right. Employee joint. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, stoked. So like everybody used to just go like camp out, be out there early as hell. So when they open, did you have a hook up to get into that store? Because I know you have to like, don't you have to like know someone to get into the? Yeah, area? I have my ways. Yeah, yeah. I have my ways. You finessing hilarious. something like nah, I know I like do, your like, aunt's like yeah, cousin. Yeah, shit like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you remember the first time you went to the employee store? Was it like the? Like the pearly gates opening up and all all the sneakers. Yeah, that shit, that shit was crazy. Like I, I actually like one of the first time I remember was getting them LeBrons. Mm -hmm. The threes? No, I had to be in fourth grade. Man, that's amazing. And you were telling us before the shoot too that like <clears throat> you get like multiple pairs, like one to rock, like yeah, one to stock. So the, like when did you start doing that? Shit, when I when I got money, you know what I'm saying? When Couldn't I was able to be able to afford it. So a pair that I really want. You know what I'm saying? It only had to be like a crazy release, like the What the Fours. Mm -hmm. yeah. I got two paired up. I was like, you know what I'm saying? They just look so different. I'm different. I, I like those a lot. And you're walking into the store paying cash, like buying the shoes or? I mean, when I really want them. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, and then Nike had sent me plenty of shit too. So I bought the the Travs, Air Force Ones. And then I, they ended up sending me a pair too. So I was like, damn, I got two pairs. Yeah. Travis didn't send you a personal pair? What do you mean? I, they sent me a pair. No, but Travis Scott also. I feel like you need one from Nike and one from, you know what I mean? <laughs> we, saw, you saw, we saw you got the the Travis Sixes and like your caption on IG was like members only. The pair that I got was only the, the like the friends and family pair. Oh. Yeah. Like you can't uh, get okay. Like, it's a little different than the yeah, inside or something? It was like on a, on a little patch on it. It's like got the number and shit on it. The perks of working. Nice. <laughs> nice. Speaking of other people from Memphis who are kind of big sneaker, uh, you know, right. Kings Go off, King. or whatever. You got Penny Hardaway, you know, yeah, he's a yeah, co Penny. coach of Memphis. He had those like Memphis foam posits. Do people go yeah. crazy for those shoes? Like, hell yeah, yeah. So when I was in high school, like my senior year, when transferred to this high school in Memphis, it was like a lot of niggas from team Penny like played on it. So what school you like, went to? What school I went, was I went to the school called Hamilton, Hamilton 19, okay. 11, and then I, I transferred to the school called White Station, 12th grade. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's where the niggas from like team Penny like went to. They was hooping, you know what I'm saying? Like uh, star hoopers and shit. Nice. You know Were saying? they reselling them at all? Nah, hell no, he just, just happy it was as like hell. a trend, you know what I'm saying? Like they was coming in with him, they was getting them shit, everybody else was getting them too. And he had like the Memphis Tiger Pennies. Like, I think, I don't know which pennies they were, I can't even remember. Penny one, I think, is it, it just had the tiger stripe on the blue? No, it was the black? The the no, not the phone pauses. Oh, yeah. It was the, I'm gonna show y'all when it's over. I know you're talking yeah. about, yeah, yeah. 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 But them, when they came out, everybody got them. Like the whole school, I remember that shit. <laughs> I had to go get mine. You know, you've been blessed, my brother, to work with you know, some of the dopest people and do great work for them. Um, we love everything that you've done, from the Drakes, to Beyonce, to Travis, boom, boom, boom. When you get the chance to work with some of these artists in the studio, have you ever like really paid attention to the shoe game? Yeah, yeah. Who, you, who do you like or what has jumped out Travis to you? Travis got the crazy shoe game. 
Right. Like every time I'm in the studio with this nigga, he got some shit on. I'm like, bro, please send me a prayer. Right, 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 <laughs> right, right. Please. Have you actually asked him? Like just directly, like, yo, I need I need a size. Yeah, uh, I mean like the, the, the shoes I be getting from be like from him. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So it's like But does that make you try to like when you're around people like that who have crazy sneaker game, does that make you try to step up your own game hey, with them yeah. or it's a competition? Nah, it ain't no competition, it's just like Man, he got them exclusive ass shoes, shit. I need them old too. Right. See, especially if ain't nobody got them. You know what I'm saying? Like, I need them. I know you work with Khaled. Have you, are you aware of Khaled's sneaker game? Yeah, yeah, his shit crazy. Have you been in the closet? No, I ain't meant to. I ain't, nah, I ain't, went, I ain't went to, like, I didn't see. When I went to his crib, we were just working. We weren't just, you okay. know what I'm So you guys had, like, the big, like, Father of Assad, like, plaque together, or, like, yeah, yeah. whatever. But does Khaled have you on the free sneaker program yet, too? Because he, he has the exclusive <laughs> Jordans sometimes, you know what I mean? Yeah, I'm going to ask yeah, put me I on the list. On. He got some of those yeah, exclusives. Up. Ten and a half, please. Please, Khaled. Keith, with your with your generation of artists, it feels like, you know, you guys are a lot more into like high fashion sort of sneakers, like mm -hmm. you're wearing Balenciaga right now. Like why like why do you think that is? Or like what appeals to you? I don't know. I just feel like it just make a statement, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because anybody can go get like some some J's that come out, you know what I'm saying? Right. But like when you got exclusive like designer shoes or you got like exclusive joints, it's more of a, a broader statement. Is What's it, the most exclusive sneaker you have, you think? Oh no, I couldn't even tell you. Do I you, feel like my, my favorite most exclusive sneaker that I have are those actually. Oh, the uh, Travis, Travis Four? Yeah, the, my favorite my favorite Travis shoes. Like. Straight from the man himself? No, I actually bought them myself. That's right, but you pay for your own money. Yeah, yeah. That is the yeah. okay. that just shows that you wanted the shoe. It ain't yeah. about like you know. Of course, if you get it from the source, it's amazing. But if you want it, you got to be able to buy it. So I get that. But what you were saying with the high fashion shoes to make a statement is it kind of like you want to let people know that like we're getting money. Like that's like kind of like what it kinda, says. Kind of sort of yeah, in a sense. It's just like the like just being exclusive. Is the Triple S your favorite designer sneaker, or do you rock with the Dior or the Versace? Hey, you know what? I got the most pairs of Triple S. Okay, out of all pair. designers. Okay. Yeah, I got four pairs. You think they're comfortable? Hell yeah. That's Really? What? That shoes comfortable? I think so too. Man, is you crazy? You got a pair? No. <laughs> uh, <laughs> We're getting YouTube money. That's different. That's that's not quite the same. Hey, you still go to four. The first time shit. he was on the show before he was a co-host, he showed up in a pair of Balenciaga Triple S's when sitting next to Brendan, he's like, I know you fucking hate this shoe on my foot right now, and that's why I wore it in front of you. <laughs> I, I still don't understand. Are they, they not heavy? They comfortable. You're building up like the calf muscles, like. Perplexed. You should, you you should get a pair, Brendan. That's all I can say. <sighs> I'm not spending my money on Balenciaga <laughs> Triple S's. So, so they, they give you like, like an inch and a half, two inches high. My boy Jacquees is like, he wears them all the time. <laughs> my boy Jacquees said, yes, sir, sign me up. <laughs> Six foot 60. Let's go, baby. Big queen. <laughs> <laughs> no, Miss Guthrie, I love you. <laughs> So Tay, let me ask you this, brother. When you first got like your legit, like, you know, first industry rap check, what was that first like splurge moment for you? Like what what did you cop with your first check? I think I just bought like a lot of off-white shit. Okay. Mm -hmm. I mean, look at the Virgil. They got nice. bought like some some like, regular off-white uh sneakers. They weren't even like no Nike jerseys. Right, right, like, right. Um, like some jackets. Right. You know what I'm saying? So sneaker wise, I say like I have bought like some Gucci shoes, you know what I'm saying? A couple yeah. pair of Gucci, a couple pair of Louis and shit like that. Right. See that you always, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, like let me just knock Before this you out. Just, yeah, like, yeah, 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 like, did, you, right. did you just blow right through it? I remember there's like a story, I think, of Shaq when he first came to the league, when he went to the mall and he first had his like million dollars or whatever. He's like, I bought a car, I bought this, I bought that. Hey, I thought nah. I could afford it, but then he looks <laughs> back and he's like, bro, I have no money left. Man, I'm cheap. <laughs> 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 I if I don't get that. it free and I don't want it, or I don't want it, then I ain't gonna get that shit. That's just the hot shit for free. If I'm getting the hot shit for free, then I ain't finna be blowing my money on. I gotta figure out how to get the hot shit for free. A lot of a lot of packages <laughs> show up at my desk, but it isn't. A lot of mid? Isn't gotta, always the hot shit. Just build relationships, man. I'm, I'm building it, but I, I guess I guess <clears throat> maybe I need to send more. Gotta take off the fucking Reeboks, man. Or something, something like that. Take he's being specifically from Memphis. Like, do you feel like Memphis style is different from other places in the country? Hell yeah. yeah. How's that? We country. I think my style is styling because, like, that nigga, like, changed my perspective of, like, how to even, like, dress, in a mm. sense. You know what I'm saying? Like, we wasn't wearing, like, skinnies and, you know what I'm saying, Balenciagas and shit in Memphis. Like, that shit just not Common. in Memphis, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. We was on some city gear, hibbit sports, you right. know what I'm right. saying? Yeah. Right, right, shit right. like that. Yeah. Like, rock star clothing or you know what i'm saying i was gonna have the jordans but yeah i was gonna have the jordans you know what I'm saying, but did you look up to three six like their style at all like growing up or nah 
Nah. It's quiet for that. Yeah, I, I guess yeah. the other thing too is like a lot of those brands you probably can't even get like Balenciaga sneakers in Memphis. Yeah, like you that, can't. Right? So you gotta go to like Oakwood Mall. We see where your style too. You you wear like a lot of like nice <laughs> basketball jerseys, like Scottie Pippen and all that. Mm-hmm. Like, is that era of style something that you look back at, like with the, like with the Jordans that like you try to? No, I just want to show my tattoos. I feel that. <laughs> That's honest. I feel that. I feel that. You gotta show all off the, the guns, right? Wealthy's been doing a lot of a lot of kettlebell workouts, so he's. They I, gotta put some ink on them negative arms, bro. <laughs> I, got, I got psoriasis, <laughs> man. I'm afraid to get a tattoo. <laughs> Wealthy, any no no tattoos in the plans? I got psoriasis, bro. I'm like afraid to like if if you get it like here that like I have it on my hand. It's gonna melt your skin off? No, but like then if you get like because you, you'll never go away. So if you get the tattoo right. and then you get the psoriasis underneath the, the tattoo. tattoo never goes away that's right that's i know but the permanent. psoriasis never goes away either because it's just genetic and it won't go away and right. then like once you get the tattoo if you get like the scaly that. skin underneath it right. you're fucked so i'm just afraid i feel like it don't be afraid <laughs> there's a moment of honesty right there all right no cap we saw like you know towards your graduation you had like a big you know few bands in the hand like a lot of college students are broke you know they got like waiting to get like twenty dollars mm-hmm. from their parents to like make it through the weekend were you flexing on people in college like when you first got that money like how did that feel I couldn't really just cop in high school you know what I'm saying like I catch yeah. a release date here yeah. and there like a couple times out of the year but like when I started like getting money in college I would make it sure like, I would cop it every fucking thing you <laughs> me one, everything all the joints. Right. So yeah, I'll flex it. I, yeah. had, I had to. I had to make up for times. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Best way to say it. Amen. When you go out and cop sneakers, were you lining up? Like, has Take Keith lined up for sneakers before? Hell no. I know somebody <laughs> who knows somebody who gonna give me the shoe. Oh. Right. No, I'll take that back. I waited one time and what finish line at, at the mall. What um, shoe was it for? Uh, I want to say it was the uh, the white and uh, red 14s. I, I forgot the name of. Yeah, some people call them a candy cane, maybe. I guess so. Like mostly white with the red on it. Yeah. How long? I waited in line about five minutes. Okay. Then okay. I, okay. Up, <laughs> I guess they knew it was me. They let the gate up, let me in. Shit. I thought this was gonna be some crazy story about how you camped out for three days for the speaker. Uh, hey, man, I go, I go buy. I'll Didn't go, shower, like choke someone out. Like <laughs> I go buy them on resale if that's the case. Wait, have saying? you ever resold sneakers? Hell no, nah. I would. <laughs> but you're not a, you're right. not afraid to buy it. Yeah, I buy some resale. I buy some resale. Yeah, yeah. Who the who is like the one of the best top resellers in Memphis? Nah, you just never know. It be oh, like okay. everybody it be finessing. Up. You might down a nigga might say you some fake shit. Oh, you damn, I think that real. You Did you ever deal with that back in the day? Like uh, I think uh, the baby said on his sneaker shopping episode, they'd be like the sneaker man that would- Sneaker man. <laughs> sneaker man. Come around, you know, and have like the trunk full of like, you know, fake Jordans or Air Forces. Is that something you remember nah, too? They, or? they call, I remember like, they used to call it like, getting them out the train. <laughs> Niggas know you ain't getting no goddamn shoes out the train, man. Them hoes were fake. Fake as hell. <laughs> Off the train is hilarious. But I feel like I feel like Memphis is one place where you could get them off the train because the distribution center is right there, right? Man, look, <laughs> I'm gonna tell you, they went hitting, they went hitting the train for five years straight. Right, right. I heard that shit my whole goddamn, you know what I'm saying? Childhood. Where are these trains? We need to, we need yeah. to know. Nah, we they went. It was cap. I knew they were getting, like, I went buying that shit. I couldn't afford it anyway, so I always heard, yeah, we got the mo off the train. They sold the mo. There was no train. There was no train. Uh, take it. Every week here on the show, we punish someone in the worst take segment for something terrible they did or said last week, as decided by the YouTube commenters, and we make them switch out their shoes for something awful. It is wealthy this week for his uh, or Ida potato joke because I grew up between Idaho and Oregon, so like I, you know, yeah. you're literally an or Ida potato. So he has to take off his sneakers, and we are going to give him some new sneakers. I've been holding that one it came for, out. for a minute, and uh, you ever seen these trains? Uh, uh-uh, what the, these is came from exactly? The train. What these is? That's it came my from question. The train. Damn. Come on, say err. <laughs> <laughs> they like Damn. some Reebok Air Force Ones. Right? Ooh, Phil, you nasty. Yo. <laughs> oh my God. Please tell us in the comment section who earned that distinction. You think you can freak week. these? Oh uh, yeah. You know I, what I said about my foot. Do your thing. So Tay, we also do a segment called Drip Flip or Skip. Drip meaning, okay. of course, it look good. Mm-hmm. Flip meaning, you know, it's cool. You might like it, but you don't, you, you don't want to wear it. You're going to resell it, make some money. Right. And skip, you don't fuck with it at all. All right. All 
The first shoe is the Off-White Jordan 5. Is this a drip flip or skip for you, my brother? Drip. Cop. Drip. I need them. Two pairs? Two pairs. Virgil, you already know. Virgil, man. you watching this, Virgil? I need two pairs of them. Virgil is definitely watching this. Do you have Virgil's number? You you the police? Cop. <laughs> put, the, put, the, put, the put them on. Put them on. Put them glasses on, boy. Uh, Brandon, drip, flip, or skip, sir. Um, I'll take three pairs. I, I love this shoe as an extension of uh, his design aesthetic and kind of a maturation of what he's doing with Nike. You want three um, pairs of these to wear for yourself? The second one, Brandon's going to like sell for like $15,000. <laughs> <Yeah, listen, laughs> that motherfucker definitely to sell three. everything, boy. Two, I need he's three. Capping. One to wear, one to sit on for a long time, and one to resell. Beautiful so basically shoe. all three to resell. Mm. By, by the way, I heard that they were going to do a first come, first serve release for these in, in Chicago. Chicago. That's a bad idea. Foot Locker, no, it got, please. It got shut down. Okay, good. Please don't do that. I'm well, finna, I'm finna see what I can do to get them. Yeah, oh, you gonna get those. Don't worry about that. Virgil got the sneakers on your feet going nuts? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> man, somebody make some beats for this man. Get this man a beat pack. God damn, he keep dropping these fucking bars. I mean, he might get the worst take this Drip, flip, or skip, my brother? Uh, this is a big flip. Although Brennan Dunn made the joke that that zero is on the side of the shoe because you have zero chance of copying this. Damn. Oof. All right. Think about it. Um, at first, I honestly thought that this was a skip for me, and that, that's so random for me to say that. But then I seen uh, my boy Rax Hogan. He had them. He has those al these already. And I was like, oh, these are legit. And I seen the Lafayette London put red shoestrings in these, and I'm super sold. So these are super drip. I'm okay. going to get these this weekend for sure. As soon as I touch down Chicago, Fleet Club, I'm on the way. Next shoe, Joe Freshgood times New Balance 992 Welty. This is a drip, flip, or skip, my brother. I feel conflicted about this sneaker. I can't wait to hear why you feel conflicted. I think it- Because of all the red? Let him answer, please. No, I think this shoe is about 90% of the way there. What's the 10% that's fucked up? I think that New Balance, sometimes they have like a customization program mm -hmm. where it's not an actually manufactured shoe. This shoe, they've done it multiple times in the past where they do collaborations through the customization program Correct. instead of like an actual official product. Like if you look at it where the tongue on it where the writing is, yes. it's kind of written in the font that the custom shoes come out of like some like almost like a uh, Nike ID. ID, okay. Same with the the leather on the tongue and the heel, that's only typically used in the customization process. And right, also right. the heel shouldn't be black, it should be white to, <laughs> to make the shoe better. So I think they rushed this product a little bit. They wanted to get something out there because Joe was signed to Adidas. He ended up working with New Balance. And I don't know, just just Yeah, just this, is your, this is your I think, I, th I, think, I, think this sh I, th I think that this shoe may have been a little rushed on New Balance's end and they had a really good idea and I wish they just had put it through another layer and just perfected the product before putting so it out. So this is a... With that said, it's just a skip. Okay. Brendan? Wow, Wilty really went deep on this one. You know what? I'm more of a 993 guy. I, I know that um, mood board people on Instagram love the 992 because of the Steve Jobs connection. So I'm sticking with the 993. I'm calling this one a skip. Tay? When you, they come out this week, this weekend, all stuff. Uh, so they, so they, they got like the Valentine's. They vibe. Vibe, yeah. Oh, you might have to get these for your girl. Huh? Yeah. Do you can freak these yourself? We can be matching. You know what I'm saying? There it is. You down with doing matching sneakers? Yeah. So I, it's a drip. We got this a way to drip. You know what I'm saying? With your girl. I didn't even think of that. I mean, this is a drip for me. I'm, I, I, I respect that yeah. statement from Wealthy. Big Joe Foot Gresh good fit. You know, the Joe. You know what I'm saying? I mean, even if I am biased, I still love the colorway. Me personally, I'm a colorway fiend, and I wouldn't, a person who doesn't know the deep history like you do, I don't even, I can't no, even, you can't even that. think I can't, that. You know, I can't even No, but think. just as a New Balance fanatic, yeah, for yeah, me, yeah. To a that's why extent, I said I respect just kinda that. like, I wish they had just pushed it the yeah. extra 10%. Nah, I'm with that all the way. That's the fucking See, vibe, the, I feel the, that. The vibe way in the distance. Right. Kind of on the, on the horizon. But it's a, this is a super drip for me, though. Moving forward, Don Sizzle, Air Force One. <laughs> Tay, I'm gonna start with you, brother. Drip, flip, or skip? Drip. Yes, sir. You'll get these off. You can do plain, simple. You know what I'm saying? Fact. You know, you ain't got to do too much. You can wear this right now. What you got on? You like Air Force Ones in Memphis like that? Is Air Force hey, One yeah, a big one? Yeah, <laughs> Man, you want to go to Memphis? <laughs> take that, man. Take him with you, take man. Memphis, bro. I'm ready. He doesn't eat meat, and you're going to take him to Memphis. Like, what is he going to eat oh, if he's yeah. in Memphis? No, 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 that no, is no. tough. Because I did not ever see a vegan restaurant in Memphis, and I've been there a few times. It's going to be difficult? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Brandon, drip flip or skip, sir? I'm pulling up to Memphis. I'm, I'm stepping onto the tarmac with these on my feet. Uh, we're going to go get some vegan food. You probably go ahead and bring the be vegan food in the Tupperware in that's your a, luggage. That's a drip. <laughs> it's going to be like, were these collard greens cooked? Oh, Actually, oh. no. I take it back. It's a skip until Don C comes on the show. Don C, come on the show. And with that, drip. It's a drip? Yes. 
Don, you already know. Drip, 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 drip. We also do, Tay, also outside of the shoes, we do outfits. And I don't think there's any better outfits to do than Tay Keith outfits. So outfit number one. Fuck these fits up. Boom! Was there a conscious decision on what shoe you wanted to graduate in? Yeah. Or you just like, I'm gonna wear what's the new shoe? See, see, I'm gonna tell them, break it down to you. Okay, me. tell me. See, I wasn't gonna wear them shoes, but it was like, <clears throat> where the release date on them shoes was around the time I took the picture. Correct. Know? Just growing up, I wasn't able to never get the releases. So mm, like, full circles, like, look last, at me now. My last, you know what I'm saying, time in school, I am able to cop these, so I got two pair of them shoes. Mm. On release date, not but not from the train. And you still had all that fucking money left. So this is drip, right? And that wasn't really drip when I look back on it. But so it was, what is this? Take it. Is it drip, flip, or skip? What is this? It, it was a... Right. A flip. A flip. A yeah, flip. All right. All right. Flip. Well, it's a drip, flip, or skip? That's a drip, man. I can respect anyone who's in that financial situation <laughs> on graduating college. So okay, so the stack of money is a drip. That's yeah, a big right. drip. A Brendan? Yeah, you paid off the student loans real quick. I did. <laughs> that I shit did. was <laughs> Fuck you, Sally Mae. Yeah, this, I, I love how much attention to detail went into this in terms of you were planning out exactly why to wear the shoe. I respect the intent, that's a drip. I mean, it's definitely a drip for me for so many reasons. The fact that you graduated in the midst of having to work with all these amazing artists and still stay focused on school. You know, being from Memphis and being from the South, where it's so easy to get caught up on bullshit, it's a drip just for the whole goddamn purpose. This is a drip. Moving forward, outfit number two. Woo. Bang! T what's going on here? Where are you going right now? Nah, it was on my ass for that picture, man. <laughs> Why is that? Why? That was like it was too many colors. Oh, it's too much. It was too much drip. Your yeah. man's wasn't like, yo, man, like you got to go change, like. But they were roasting you on Instagram for this one. Is that what it was? That was on my ass. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> what was you heading to the studio? What, what, what was it? Take me down. This what happened here? It was uh, I went to a day party. Okay, okay, we're going to the party. So is this a drip in your eyes? Looking at it now. Yeah. Drip flip or skip? I would have skipped it. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> okay, okay. Hey, Brendan. Um, I yeah, I'm gonna. Too many colors to me, too. I wasn't in the comments section. Let's make that <laughs> You sure? Ain't got no fake page, dude. Oh, yeah. That Finsta. Like no, no Finsta's on this side. He's like KD with the burner account. Uh, I respect it. It's a drip. Yeah, I don't have a problem with it. I would have, I mean, obviously that's coming from me. Um, so it's drip for me. Moving forward. Boom, boom. Showing off the tats. Showing off the tats. Dominique so. Key. Let's go. <laughs> uh, I try to find a, I try to find a best way to Put that fit together because them jays. You had the shoes first? They just the... came out that day. Okay, okay. So I was not like, off the damn. Train. Nah, not off the train. <laughs> you should have never told that train story. He gonna ride that train until the wheels fall off. On the midnight train to Georgia. Woo! So is this a drip flipper skip, Ty? I said that's a drip for me. This is like, I like it because this is like a, it's like a generational uh, gap where this is like our era of like 2002. Correct. Like Fab wearing the throwbacks in the, in the fitteds, but for the current like new crop of artists to kind of have that same style, but their own spin on it, which is, I think, kind of cool. It's a drip. Brendan? Showing off the tats, something I can get behind. That's a drip. I would say this is a flip. This is a flip for me. I love that shooter. What are you flipping? What you I'm flipping? not flipping. The jersey that Tech Keith wore. I'm gonna give him the autograph it and just hold on to it. Like we said, you know what I'm saying? As he keeps making hits and keeps killing shit. I mean, you know what I'm saying? I think I get some money off that. Maybe two of you could work on something after the That's show. That's easy. Yeah. Right after the show. Yeah. Right after the show. Let's and, go. And right in the hair and makeup. <laughs> you did say I could get some beats, right? You got, you got the budget? <laughs> yeah. Well, we can talk about The Reebok budget, I don't know. Yeah. We'll chop it up. I'll, I'll shoot you a PayPal. Um, listen, Takey, before we get out of here, we want to read through the comments real quick and see what people have been saying about us online for the past week. I have a few of them here. The first one is from Julio Trykov saying, it's a shame Brennan and Welty didn't get featured in Uncut Gems. Yeah, nobody called us about a cameo in that movie, but we're happy Dad made it in. I'm happy. I'm <laughs> very happy that um, I made it. And the next time we do a movie, I'm gonna definitely throw your name out there. Like, oh, I know two guys. Space Jam Two. We need to be in Space Jam Two. We have Booker T saying Welty murdered the season with them Kobe Twos. Rest in peace, Kobe. Trinidad and Mustache can't compete with them the rest of the season. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Although I will, I, I will give props to Brendan on that one. I did have a pair of another sneakers lined up, and he's like. You've had those sneakers on your desk for years. It's time to wear them. And I went and wore them. Kobe time. Uh, one more comment here. TJ saying, best show on YouTube. Nice to see the boys back at it. What the hell is going on with the sub count? This channel needs more subs, seriously. Fake prank call channels have millions of subscribers. What's wrong with people? Please inflate those subscriber numbers. We need all the views we can get. 
This has been another episode of Full Size Run. I'm your co-host, Brendan Dunn. I'm Matt Welty. Trinidad James, baby. This was Tay Keith. Fuck niggas up. Yes, sir. I can't say it. <laughs> she, she, she won every color. That's a full size. Buy six for my kids. Bought a seven for my kids. Yo, yo, yo. Another classic episode. <laughs> Regular shit. Regular degular. That's all we do, right? Come on. Seriously, we really appreciate you, man. You guys, we've passed 200,000. We love you. We are family here. I want to keep wearing leather pants. I want you to wear leather pants with me. Don't you want to see more Adidas? One more thing, though. No. Click up here to watch the next one. Keep Please. those views up or over here. Got to need exclusive, exclusive Gucci socks. Come on, guys. Let's go for 300,000.